Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some Java 8 coding based interview questions based on some scenarios usually asked in an interview. We are putting a like target of 500 likes in this video. Please like, share and subscribe if you want to support us. So let's get started. Now let me quickly go ahead with a very important question. Please make sure that you know what, what we are trying to do here. Okay, This is related to Java 8. So now given an employee list, so what you are given is you are given an employee list, you are asked to sort these employees based on their salaries in decreasing order. So this is a hell lot of tasks we need to do here with Java 8. That is you need to first use a stream, then you need to sort and then you need to sort in a descending order. So there are basically two ways I'm going to show you that I need a class and my class will be Java 8 EMP demo. Now before that I need at least an employee class right. So let me quickly create an employee class. Okay uh, suppose my employee class is going to have private int id private uh, long salary. Okay let me make it a simple primitive only right now. It will be automatically un uh, auto boxed and unboxed if required. Now I can quickly go and source and generate first getters and setters for both of them generate and simultaneously I can generate also the two string because I'm going to print it for you. So source generate two string. Okay, I think this is enough. The ID and the salary is what I'm going to print for you. Let me remove this console. It's distracting. Okay, so I think my employee class is ready. I just need one more thing, last thing, which is nothing but constructor. It will be helpful for me. So source generate constructor using field, both of them as together. So great, my constructor is also in place. So basically I have my employee having ID and salary. Now what is expected from me is given the list of employee. So I need to create a list of employee first, okay? So let me quickly go ahead into my class and I'm going to create my list of employee EMP list equals to new array list of type employee and I'm going to put my employee sorry my I'm going to put some values into it. So EMP list okay so first we need at least a main method and we can put all those into my main method sorry now my amp list dot add now i'm going to add a new employee so i can just create a new employee right now with id as one and suppose the salary is just 500 right now i'm going to put at least seven to eight values so that it is easy for you i think this is enough this is 1000 then next can be 1500 then 2000 then 2500 then 3000 and then 3500 simple now what i have is till now i have given at least a list of employee who are going to be into my mp emp list now i need to sort these based on their salaries now we have seen in java 8 a way to sort using streams a simple uh, uh, like a uh, uh, list of integers list of long but how do you sort an employee list so this is basically a custom object you need to sort not only just on the basis of employee but on the basis of one of the attribute of employee so this is difficult part so what we can do quickly is emp list dot stream very first thing you need if you want to use any uh, any uh, operations of stream first you need to open the stream now next we have already seen a sorted now sorted if you can see it is overloaded method it takes a simple sorted based on something or a, a particular comparator we need to basically sort it in the descending order so i'm going to take a comparator where i'm going to take two objects uh, suppose o1 comma o2 and the and then a lambda expression such that return me o2 minus o1 salary emp dot get salary method minus 
ओवन डॉट गेट सैलरी मेथड वॉट आई गोइंग टू डू इज नाउ सिंस आई गेट दैट वॉट आई नीड इज आई नीड टू कलेक्ट इट फर्स्ट आई थिंक लेट्स क्विकली कन्वर्ट इट इन टू एन इंटीजर एल्स इट माइट गिव एस एन एरर सो दिस इज माई कंपेरेटर डन नाउ लेट्स क्विकली सी वेदर दिस सॉर्टेड थिंग इज डन नाउ आई कैन डू कलेक्ट एंड कलेक्ट एज कलेक्टर्स डॉट टू लिस्ट आई नो दिस इज अ बिट पेन बट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दिस बिकॉज नाउ अ डेज पीपल आर आस्किंग दिस टू मच सो इट्स बेटर दैट यू रिमेंबर द सिंटेक्स सो दैट यू वॉन्ट गेट इन अ रश ड्यूरिंग एन इंटरव्यू सो दिस इज अ सिंपल सिंटेक्स यू यू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रीम यू क्रिएट अ सॉर्टेड सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस थिंग सॉर्टेड वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दिस कंपेरेटर इन द जावा एट वीडियोज वी हैव कवर्ड ऑल ऑफ दीज now what we are going to do is we are just going to do o2 minus o1 which is going to give us in a reverse order and then we are just going to collect it into the list so now this is going to give me a list so let me quickly take it in a list so if i have this in place what i can do is i can just simply print it out s y s o and i can just print it like that only because i have overridden my two string method now i think this is sorted in the descending order so we have it in ascending order 500 1000 1500 2000 2500 3000 3500 so you can see employee with id oh my god i've put id everything is two oh my god okay these are the different ids let me quickly change the ids for you and okay now let me run this again so you can see ID seven, I uh, uh, the salary is three thousand five hundred, three thousand, two thousand five hundred, two thousand, then two thousand, one thousand five hundred, one thousand and five hundred. So let me quickly make it like this. Okay, great. Now this is much more visible. It is in descending order order if you can see. So one task is at least done. What they have asked is given an employee list, sort the employees based on their salaries in descending order. so this is my employee list created i have opened a stream out of it i have sorted based on the objects given and i have put the reverse condition rather than getting o1 dot salary minus o2 dot salary i have reversed it o2 dot salary minus o1 dot salary this is a simple way to reversely sort your given uh, given array list so that is as simple as that now let me quickly move ahead to more operations on these so the more operations can be fetch top 3 salaried employees from that particular list now you have done this much but interview may not not stop here he may even uh, try to get more out of this so what he will ask you now is now since this is done please fetch only 3 employees whose salary is highest so what you need here is i just need employee with id 7 3500 6 3000 5 with 2500 i don't need these so there is also a way to do that and a way to do it is with a limit and now limit i can say limit 3 only top 3 salaried employees i need who is fetching the highest salary please give me that so let me run this great so i have id 7 6 and 5 with me these are going to have the top salaries now even further they can go ahead fetch all the employees having salary less than third highest salary Okay, so let me first make you understand what he is asking. You need to fetch all those employees whose salary is less than third highest salary. So, what is the third highest salary? Two thousand five is five hundred is the third highest salary. Now he needs all those employees whose salary is less than that. So you need five hundred, one thousand, one thousand five hundred, and two thousand as your output. So rather than using limit, there is also one more way that is nothing called as skip. and i'm going to skip till suppose 3 if i'm going to skip 3 out of it then you can see that rest all we are getting out of it so it's like 2000 1500 1500 so these are the employees whose salary is less than third highest salary so third highest salary was 2500 all these employees are having less than 2500 so i think this much is clear these are simple operations of java 8 if you want more such type of questions on java 8 if you are asked in an interview let me know in the comment section i will cover all of them